In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to use the type tool to add text on your videos or photos in Premiere Pro. So I'm going to start with this shot here and you'll notice on the left here, I have type tool. So I'm just going to click that and then I can hover my mouse over my video. And as soon as I click, you'll notice this little red field pops up and then I can just start typing. So I'm going to type manatee and then I wonder what else I should include. I could do manatees. I could do, um, you know, five facts about manatees um, and then if I end up typing a little too much and I can't fit it in I could make two lines I'm going to hold down shift and hit enter um, and so five facts about manatees and then I've added this little space here that I'm going to want to delete so five facts about manatees that'll be my title on this video I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go over to my effects control panel here sometimes it's hidden over here and I'm going to manipulate the text. So I'm just going to open this up a little bit so that I could see it a little bit better. And then over here, you'll notice it says text and the text that I just typed will pop up here. And to edit it, you just click this little drop down. And now I can edit everything from the font size to the font style. I also want to make it centered. So I'm going to click this right here. And then I'm going to grab my selector tool and I could move my text around. I have enabled these um, great grid lines that help me see where my center point is. You can enable those here. Um, if they don't, if you don't have this in your Premiere Pro, you can click this plus button for the button editor, and then you can find the button here. And I already have it down my safe margins, but you would grab it and you would just drop it there and then you would hit OK. And that way it'll help you kind of align um, your text if you're trying to get it centered. You also want to make sure that your text isn't too far out of these lines because different people's devices, let's say they're watching it on their phone or on their TV, different different ways that people watch your video they may crop the text so you want to keep any text um, at least inside this box right here um, so try to at least keep it inside of this um, depending on where you're going to put it might depend on the background so your alignment will depend on you know what it is that you're trying to showcase and trying to make your uh, your graphic work with your background. But in this case, I'm just going to do a simple uh, centered text. So the next thing I'm going to do is change the font size. I'm going to highlight this here and you'll notice it says 206 is the font size. I can either click on top of the number 206 and then drag it to the right or to the left to change the font size, or I can click on the circle and I can make the, fact, uh, the font bigger or smaller. Um, another thing that's, that's helpful that you may want to do is adjust the space between these lines. And you'll notice these A's on top of each other will help you adjust the letting. So if you click on this number, right now it's at negative 38. Click and hold, and then if I move this up, up or down, it will help me ensure that I'm getting the appropriate space and that, of course, depends on uh, what you're writing and what your background looks like. But um, very often people don't realize that they can do that. And sometimes they have like an awkward amount of space for no reason. So um, you can make that space a little smaller if you want to. Um, you can also adjust uh, different things like tracking. So you can space out your text if you prefer. I'm just going to hit Command Z to undo that. Um, and there are a lot of other things that you can do here. So I have my text in all caps. Um, let's say you have um, a lot of text and it's not in all caps and you want to quickly make it all capital letters. You can just click that one. You could do small caps. You can do um, italics. You could do uh, bold. Um, but I'm just going to undo all of those um, and keep it here. The next thing you could do is adjust your font. So 
Um, usually I'll find my font first and then I'll adjust the size and the letting. Um, there's lots of fonts here that you could use that come with Adobe. You can always install other types of fonts and you'll find them all here. So let's try this font. Um, you want to be careful when you are adding text to your videos um, that you could read the text. So let's take a look at this one. This one might be too um, thin. You may want to adjust it. It's, it's pretty light because you want to make sure people can still read it. So if I highlight this text, I can also adjust this. Right now it is light. I can see what that would look like in regular or perhaps uh, medium. Maybe I want it to be bold. Um, you usually want to pick a font that kind of matches the mood or the story that you're trying to tell. Um, there are so many different options. There are also some decorative fonts um, like this one, for example. And this is okay because you can read it. Um, but there are some decorative fonts that occasionally can be hard to read with your background. So just make sure that you're fit, finding a font that you that is legible. So that's kind of the point at the end of the day. You do want people to be able to read what you're writing. Um, and there are some here uh, fonts that you might like to use because you're maybe perhaps more familiar with things like times. Um, depending on what you want, you may want a serif font. Um, but I prefer sans serif fonts, which are fonts that don't include these little extra things here. I think they look a little bit more modern. Um, and I do think they're a little bit easier to read. So let's pick perhaps the Monteserrat font and maybe I'll do a medium and then I'll click over here and five facts about manatees. Uh, and now I like the way that looks. The next thing I want to show you is what this would look like on a different, um, on a different video background. So I picked this one here because it's colorful and um, the contrast in the colors aren't too hard to read. But if I pick a different one, like this one, for example, it still works. Um, it's easy to read, but it's kind of hard to see what it is and maybe isn't the most colorful. Um, if I'm picking this one, I'm going to have some challenges because of the contrast. So some of these colors in the background are darker, some of them are lighter, and the shadows make it a little bit hard to read. Um, let's say you just have to have uh, an image in the background that does have high contrast elements and you still you know, want to make it legible. There are a few things that you can um, experiment with. I would recommend picking one that doesn't have that high of contrast to begin with, but let's say you don't have that option. You can add um, a drop shadow. So if you scroll down here in your effects control panel, if it's not selected, you can select shadow. And then if you click on this box here, uh, most drop shadows are, are black or gray, but you can adjust the color if there's um, relevance for the story that you're trying to tell. And when you hit OK, you can also adjust several other things. This, if you hover over each of these little icons, it'll tell you this is adjusting the size. So if you adjust the size, I'm going to make it really big to show you what that would look like. Um, now I've made a really big drop shadow. Um, I can also adjust, um, this will adjust the distance the shadow is. And uh, depending on you know what it is you're trying to do, that might work for you. It might not. Um, there's several other things that you can do to like make this drop shadow less noticeable. So the blur, for example, you can blur it. And then if I click over here, you can see um, perhaps it's a little more legible than it was earlier. So there are a lot of things that you can do here to play around with your text. Um, hopefully this is a helpful little tutorial to show you how to add text and how to customize that text. Coming up in another video, we're going to look at how to animate text and start incorporating things like Mogarts in your Premiere Pro videos.